Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Matthew and Victoria on the vlog. Um, we're currently on day one of our Quebec road trip. We're gonna be stopping in Ottawa, a cabin outside Quebec City, and a cabin outside of Montreal. And Prince Edward County. Um, yeah, and Prince Edward County. Um, so we just got to Ottawa, so we're just gonna be checking into our Airbnb and going for tacos. Um, but I thought this would be a good time to kick off the vlog and say thanks for following along and I hope you guys enjoy. before we left Ottawa we went to the Science and Technology Museum which was really fun they had um, all sorts of stuff just like displayed through the times which I really enjoyed after that we just did our drive to the cabin which sits just outside of Quebec City we got here pretty late so we just kind of unpacked all our food um, we bought all groceries for a week and right now while I do this update Matthew is making me a fire making us a fire, so I should probably get out there. Hey everyone, Matthew here. Uh, Victoria's just in the shower right now, so if she wanted me to catch you guys up on the past day. Yeah, we didn't really do that much today. Uh, we woke up late, did some drone shooting around the cabin, which I'm sure you guys will see in this video. Um, I'm excited to see it. It's always fun flying the drone. Went out to Quebec City, just drove around. It was raining most of the day, uh, so we didn't have a chance to walk um, or do anything outside, uh, but Victoria hasn't seen it, so... Just wanted to show around. Uh, we went to a winery. We got some wine, got some jam, things like that. We're gonna drink it tonight uh, while we have our game night. That's about it. Hope you guys are enjoying. Talk to you soon. I love cabins, so I like that it was like super secluded. Um, they had heated floors, <laughs> which was Victoria, so good. Victoria gets cold very easily. She needs the house to be at like 25 degrees. It's crazy. It was so good. Um, natural and light, the natural light was good. There was windows everywhere. Yeah, the mountain view, like it was honestly, it's been raining most of our trip, um, but I was really surprised. Like I felt like I was in like Vancouver. It was really nice. I like the rain, the uh, rain head shower. Oh, yeah. The yeah, 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 nice, yeah, yeah, that was really nice. What didn't you like about it? It's on like the top of like a hill or a and cliff. And everything's under construction, so you're just driving through like these steep dirt yeah, roads. Yeah, yeah. The ladder, not really the ladder, the stairs, that was like a ladder. They're just steep. I had to, I had to climb those stairs fairly frequently because Victoria didn't want to. I would, I would recommend it and stay again. I, I think... would try different. I would try different places, I think, like that. I think that if we stayed, we would want to stay like right like we stayed three days but i would want to stay like four or more yeah just so it's like more relaxing and stuff and in case there is weather issues you have a higher chance of yeah because there nice was a days. lot of trails and stuff that we didn't yeah. get to go on um but yeah really fun <laughs> left the cabin this morning and we just got to the cottage outside of Montreal. New place is nice. Yeah, it is very nice. Um, it's by like just the lake. We have a dock um, and a boat, so it's really nice. The drive was good. It was about three hours um, and we went to this like driver museum. Yeah, it was for Gilles Villeneuve. He's one of the um, best Canadian F1 drivers. I just wanted to see it. After we left, he started teaching me French. How to say, excuse me, excuse do you me. guys sell poutine <laughs> in French? Yes. Um, say it. So that, no, no, it's okay. So that took uh, a little while, so help the drive fly by.
hop in for an update. Um, on Wednesday, we didn't do much. It was just raining all day. And yesterday, we woke up, we did some drone shots. Um, and then what else did we do? Took the, we took the rowboat out. We, were, we took the rowboat and then uh, we went on a hike for a few hours at like this like provincial park that was five minutes from us. Um, and then we had a dinner date outside. It was really cute, but it rained like two minutes in. We had face masks. This morning we had a really early morning. Um, we left the cottage at like eight. Um, just because we have a day of like visiting wineries and going to restaurants in Prince Edward County. So we'll let you guys know how that goes. Just checking in from our Prince Edward County Farm Stay Airbnb. We got here a little bit late today and our first stop was Norman Hardy. Um, we got here just in time for late lunch around 2, like 2 2.30. 2 yeah. Yeah, they have a really nice pizza area, nice stone oven. Um, we did a tasting. tasting. Area. Yeah. yeah. Matthew ended up getting a bottle for his mom's birthday. And then our second winery stop was Light Hall Vineyards, where we ended up picking up wine and cheese for the night. Put their own wine and cheese there. All the cheese made from sheep's milk. It's kind of small. It's like super recent, but um, everything was pretty good. It was really good. Good enough for us to buy a bottle of wine and some cheese. Our last stop for dinner was Hartley's Tavern. It was really nice, really great atmosphere. Good food. We actually wanted to go to a second place for dinner, but we just didn't get to do that because the line was too long. Yeah, we were pretty um, full as well. Yeah, just full and tired from our day. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to pop in on the vlog and we'll update you guys tomorrow. really busy day today in Prince Edward County. We went to brunch twice. We went to, we went to the Drake and we went to the Vic, which is like a nice little classic style diner in Picton. Yeah, I liked it there. Mm, it was nice. And then we went to three wineries for tastings. We went to Waupoose, County Cider, and Clawson Chase. Mm. Um, but now we just got home and we wanted to just end the vlog off here. So we wanted to say thanks for watching. Thanks.